New information tonight about an accident in Warner Robins. The Warner Robins Police Department issuing a correction after previously stating a man died following a crash. Police say 71 year old Michael Brown is alive following the crash that happened this morning on Watson Boulevard near Austin Avenue. Two other people were also hurt in the crash. Police say Brown was trying to turn left onto Austin Avenue when he hit 71 year old Albert Horn. The accident is still under investigation. Fifth County's district attorney says five people are to blame for nearly 60 commercial burglaries over the past year. District Attorney David Cook says the grand jury indicted the five yesterday on racketeering charges. He says the five broke into 49 businesses, typically overnight, between December 2019 and last April. They'd hit some stores more than once. The burglars took thousands of dollars in cash and some merchandise. And Cook says the thefts even included a Christmas Day burglary. The businesses included restaurants, gas stations and hair salons. Fifth County's Fire Chief Marvin Riggins is saying goodbye after 41 years with the department. The department hosted a ceremony for his retirement. Taylor Hicks went to that ceremony and spoke with people who attended about the impact Chief Riggins has had on them. Many people got emotional as Bibb County's Fire Chief Marvin Riggins shared some of his favorite moments while working for the fire department. There was laughter and even tears. Reagan started his career in 1979, and since then he's been named Firefighter of the Year three times, Paramedic of the Year, received the Macon Optimist Community Service Award, and more. Corral Rembert says Riggins inspired many, and he was one of them. Everything that I am on this fire department is because of him. Rembert is a fire inspection and fire prevention sergeant, and he says he owes the majority of his accomplishments to Chief Riggins. The biggest asset that he taught me is to always have a plan. Always have a plan, work your plan. Even if you have to redo your plan, have that plan, stick to your plan. But Rembert is not the only person who felt Riggins' impact. He's definitely going to be missed. So he's, he's been a great mentor, a great role model, and, and, and just a, a man of a great integrity. Jeremy Webb was hired by Chief Riggins 12 years ago and worked under him as a fire safety instructor. Uh, he keeps us uh, on track pretty much on a daily basis and, and, and always keeping us track of why we do what we do and, and we do it for the public. Chief Riggins says the one thing he will miss is working with a great team every day. We do so many things together. We work this day as a unit. We work as a family so often and, and to come together and, and when we think of things, think of what we can do to make our community better. A mission that Chief Riggins believes his team will fulfill even in his absence. In Macon, Taylor Hicks, 13 WMAZ News. Chief Riggins says that the next thing he would like to do in life is teach at a college somewhere in Georgia.